You have not experienced Tulum until you have stayed or visited a beach resort. And that's exactly what my friends and I did in this episode. We stopped by La Cebra and we checked out their food, their cabanas, and all of the things that they have to offer. Hello everybody. Okay, so we are still continuing our adventure here in Tulum and right now we are at a beach club. So let me break it down for you guys. Let me take out my sunglasses because I feel like you guys can see myself or see yourselves in the camera through my lens by the reflection of it. Okay, no, no doesn't matter. Point is that Right now, we are at this beach club, and this is called the, uh, La Cebra, La Cebra Beach Club. So, Camille has been looking um, for many different kinds of beach clubs and like different restaurants to kind of have like a bougie night out. But we came to this one because it was free admission, and we kind of just wanted to check it out. Basically, if you come down to the beach section of Tulum, you will see so many different beach clubs across this like long road. Obviously, the best way to get here is through that main uh, like beach road it's called like Kukon Kokin something and basically you have to go down that road but let me tell you guys oh lord there are so many potholes and it's just a mess it's just a mess so be ready whatever car rental you have or if you have a scooter or bike just be ready to drive slow or to ride slow because you don't want to pop a tire or you don't want something to break okay anyways let me talk to you about this beach club so in this beach club, La Cebra, you can enter uh, free. But if you want to stay in one of the cabanas, like we are right now, you would have to pay uh, 80, 800 pesos. 800 pesos, which is like 40 US dollars. Yeah, 40 US dollars for the whole day. So that's pretty good. If you're coming with a group, you can definitely do that if you're into that stuff. This place also has uh, a lot of like cool little areas to kind of chill. So they have a whole bunch of other cabana beds. They have like a little jungle gym area. It's kind of like a little seesaw and um, maybe like swings and stuff for kids or for you to just chill out with some friends. And um, one of the really cool things that this place has is private apartments. So these private apartments, I guess you would just have to book them online. But basically these apartments are literally on the beach look that beach is right there and literally behind me is an apartment but it's super cool because if you're really into the whole beach life if you really like that stuff you can have the beach literally 24 hours a day so that's pretty cool uh, another cool thing about this place is that it's also a restaurant and it has its own bar so you can definitely come here make a reservation or kind of just walk in like we did and get a table we didn't do that because we already ate, but we might do that later on since we're probably gonna stay here till sunset. Uh, and we might sit there and have some food. If you're coming down to the beach area in Tulum, um, just try to come at a good time where there's like no traffic because the traffic is just really, really bad. Since there's so many potholes and the roads are still under construction, there's just like a lot going on. It can take you a long time to get to the beach, especially to La Cebra, because La Cebra for us has, was one of the ones um, towards the end of the strip, and there were many beach clubs uh, way before it. So we passed by uh, Tantra, we passed by that one area where everybody takes a picture of with the little heart thing, you know, the statue, whatever that's called. I recommend that you guys come at a good time because it could just, it could just be so annoying, and it's just, yeah, you don't want to be doing that. seconds later all right y'all so we just finished um like our service here we ordered some drinks and stuff and um literally everything came up to 34 dollars i was so shocked on the price because i thought it was going to be more expensive 50 or 60 bucks yeah maybe yeah, 50. <laughs> brian doubted me no i did it yes you did i just i yes, was you just, did the thing is i'm not a beach okay, person but why are we yelling but yeah, but uh, honestly, <laughs> I get accused of being too See? expensive. You do. Time. Is she not, Davion? 
Say it on camera. Say it on camera. If you guys do want to come to a beach club, I would recommend coming La to La Cebra because it's affordable, it's nice, and it was great. It was good service. If, if you come, get what was our waiter's name? Tuesday. No, what was his name? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Antonio? I think it was Enrique. Anthony? It was not Antonio. Esquez. Wait, his name is. Escobar, Ezequias, Ezequias, yeah, he's, he was great, Ezequias was great, and try to come on a Tuesday, because Tuesdays you get two for one deals, and I think that's why it was so affordable for us, on the mixed drinks, on the mixed drinks, yeah, on the virgins, we didn't get that offer, but either way, it's good, so we're gonna go to the restaurant after this, but we just drank so much, so we're kind of full, and drunk, bruh, Apparently this restaurant is really good and cost effective. I don't know. Is that true? Yes. yes. Um, the research I did. Yes. Okay. Because normally, like, if you see this for the first time, you're probably like, oh, this is hella pricey. I mean, but looking at the menu, so. it's pretty cheap. Like, you can get a half hen for 450 pesos, which in like American dollars is how much? 450? 450 pesos. 450 is like, yeah, like 20, 20, like five ish. Five. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess it depends on what you buy, but we'll see. Yeah, I think it's cost effective uh, compared to other restaurants around here. Well, we'll see how the food tastes because well, that's we'll what see. speaks. <laughs> well, yeah, the boys, of course, are going to say something like that. Well, I'm going to say something like that, too. Yeah, and like for the prices that they're offering, I think it's pretty good to have dinner on the beach with this view. Y'all, y'all can't beat this view. Right y'all can't beat this view. What's up, Camille? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't beat this view. This view of the me. view of this tree. Ah. Now let me stop. Oh, no. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's me from the future, and I had to come on here to say not to eat at this restaurant. This restaurant was not good. It was extremely expensive. What we got was actually one of the cheapest things on the menu. It was bad. It was bad. Like, the chicken was good, but for the price that we paid it was not worth it so save your money save your time and save your energy and do not eat here just get out of the beach strip and then go somewhere in the downtown tulum area you'll find something even better and more cost effective there while well, we're gonna end the vlog here and we're gonna pick up tomorrow because we I have a big smile. adventure we're going at we're going on atv we're going zipline and we're going into cenotes so we're super excited for that it's gonna be a packed day tomorrow and it's gonna be great. So for now, Peace. see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Say. He was just saying um, you can work here and work in dollars. What she said. I'm like, if you're working in the state. <laughs> yeah, you can make dollars easily. Uh, and then they go. I have so much sand on me. Be, be careful if you bump into. The <laughs> 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 Why well, y'all want me? I don't think you have to walk in slow motion. I just no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to walk in slow motion. It's gonna be in slow oh, motion. Why you walk so slow? I don't. Move here to Tulum. Tulum. Is this on camera? Tulum. Yeah. No. Tulum. 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 I'm nervous now. Yeah, I don't want to say. What? <laughs> <laughs> Tulum. Wait, what, what did you say? No. Okay, so I'm just sitting here trying to think why. When you was like, let me record this in slow-mo, she started walking in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Drama is everything. I'm so bad at pulling out. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Wait, that's wasn't the audio, was it?